edge as a trader is I'm really good at reading market psychology. And then I think like, how can I read the market so well? And I think it's because I was one of these people, one, uh, not that I'm like different now, but like I went through that stage of feeling all those emotions of, of being scared to take the trade, of placing my stop loss and always getting stopped out and then it reverses, right? So how am I so good at knowing where people place their stops? Because I was the guy that placed my stop loss there. <laughs> so it's like, I think that's like one of the things that when you become a good trader, it's like, well, I understand so well the psychology because I literally was in the same boat as all these people that are struggling right now. And like when you think of that and you think, wow, I just think, I, I just think it's going to be like really, you're going you're gonna to see yourself in like one, two, three years and be like, wow, you know, I was this guy and now I'm, and now I'm crushing the charts and winning trades. And it's a process that we all go through. Nobody's going to instantly become a good trader. Nobody, and if they say they are, they're a scammer. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's no, no one is instantly a good trader. You have to go through the pain and then, you, you, you know, it's the same with everything, right? You go through the cycles. You go, you go up Elliott Wave, you're feeling really good, and then you go on a bit of a losing streak, and then you come up again. So, you know, you can only withstand those downward moves if you've got that strength of character and, and real grit and determination to then come back out on the Elliott Wave 3. So, uh, yeah, maybe some of you today are on Elliott Wave 3, or some of you are coming down on a Elliott Wave 2, but what you need to do is keep at it and, and, and get on the next bull cycle. And, yeah, that would be my words. <laughs>